Hey, small group leaders, I wanna share with you three ways in which you can involve your small group in engaging our mission. Our mission is simple. That is simply to help people who are far from God know Christ. And the first challenge that I wanna put before you and I wanna encourage you to then put before your small group is a challenge that Jesus put before us in Matthew chapter nine, verse 35 through 38. It's simply where Jesus is traveling around different villages and cities. Uh, he, is, he is teaching in their synagogues. He's proclaiming the gospel and he's healing them of disease. And in this passage, in this summary that Matthew gives us, it says that when Jesus saw the crowds, he had compassion on them for they were harassed and helpless and they were like sheep without a shepherd. Uh, well, with that being said, Jesus says, the, the, he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful and the laborers are few. And then in chapter nine, verse 38, Jesus says, therefore pray. Therefore pray that the Lord of the harvest would send out laborers into his harvest. And that's exactly what I wanna challenge you to do and challenge your group to do is to be praying that the Lord would just continuously be sending out laborers into his harvest, into Fort Worth, Texas and our surrounding cities. And this is something that is simple, but it's something that I want us to do all together. So here's the, here's the, the substance to this challenge. In addition to praying, I want us all to pray together. And here it is. I want us all to set a reminder on our phones, set the alarm on your phone, Every morning at 9.38, we're gonna go a.m. Every morning at 9.38, set a reminder that simply says, pray to the Lord of the harvest that he would send laborers into his harvest. Hey, normally you and I would be praying together, right? We, especially in our small groups, we'd be praying together. And if this is the way in which we can pray together by setting a reminder on our phones at 938 that says, pray to the Lord of the harvest that he would send laborers amongst our city and amongst our surrounding area, then let's do it. The second challenge that I wanna put before you is rather simple. It's a tool that obviously some of you already have this and some of you are already doing this. But for those that may not, I wanna put this before you. Real simple, I wanna encourage you to download a particular app, the Nextdoor app on your phone, download it on your phone, or if you don't have apps, go to nextdoor.com and just simply look to connect with your neighbors. You know, our mission field, it, it exists wherever the, the, whatever lies beneath the bottom of your two feet, that is where our mission field is. And many of you are so, um, so busy right now in this season, um, taking on all kinds of responsibilities that used to, you used to have aid and assistance with elsewhere. Uh, and I just want to encourage you that yes, that is indeed your mission field, your family, but also those outside of the church are our mission field. So I wanna encourage you, go download the Nextdoor app, go, down, go to, go to nextdoor.com. Simply just look to encourage your neighbors. It's a simple way to connect with them, offer up assistance. Hey, just checking up on you. How is everyone doing? Uh, if you're not familiar with it at all, go to YouTube, click on a tutorial of Nextdoor. You can get an understanding, a better understanding of how to connect with your neighbor. The third challenge is simply this, encourage your people to go on prayer walks. Now I'm fully aware of the fact that right now we need to be practicing social distancing, et cetera. But I don't know about you, I've got extreme cabin fever and I have needed to go for walks and I have needed to go for a run. And so I practice social distancing and I get outside. So one of the things that I wanna encourage you to do is while you too are being outside and while you too are practicing safe social distancing, I wanna encourage you to prayer walk. So one of the ways in which we wanna encourage you to encourage your small groups to do this is each week, I'm gonna put up a prayer guide on our resource page on Travis website in which we simply say, hey, consider this week praying at prayer walking this location. 
Or this week, consider praying this location, just whatever area of the city that we may decide. But it's certainly something that we can be doing together while not doing it at the same time. That's a key thing right now, right? So I just wanna encourage you, let's prayer walk together. Let's, let's encourage um, each other to, to practice this safe distancing, but not neglecting to ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest field, not neglecting our neighbor, but rather reaching out to them and saying, hey, if there's anything that I could possibly do for you during this time, you just let me know. Build that bridge digitally. Third thing, like I said, how about we just start going on some prayer walks? We're, gonna just, gonna, we're just gonna identify some areas uh, on our website in which you can prayer walk. And that is us engaging our mission together.